Hey folks, Will Brink here at www.brinkzone.com. Uh, today I want to talk about the uh, butt shaping, leg shaping sneakers that are uh, all the rage these days. I actually wrote a blog about these uh, products um, last year or so. And at the time, there really wasn't much for research except for, of course, what the manufacturers claimed. And I basically said, as far as I was concerned, they were going to be ineffective, uh, a recipe for injuries, and probably going to lead to problems in the future. And, of course, I concluded that regardless of any slight increase in stimulation to the muscle you might get from these unbalanced sneakers, you certainly weren't going to get great legs and a great butt and stuff from them as claimed versus doing it the old-fashioned way. So fast forward to today and I wanted to update uh, this topic and there have been a couple of studies that came out done by the American Council or at least via the American Council on Exercise that uh, tested a number of these sneakers and as expected found absolutely no value uh, in them. They did not find any additional calorie burning or muscle stimulation and so on and so on as uh, you might expect, or at least as, as I expected and as I predicted. Uh, and I'll link uh, that, uh, uh, this video so you can go read a little more on that and see my prior write-up on these sneakers. Uh, two, as I predicted, they are uh, an injury waiting to happen. Uh, women are already, and I should say women because women are who are really wearing these sneakers. I don't know any guys wearing them. So it's obviously directed and marketed to women. So women are at higher risk of injury already to their knees and their joints because of their, uh, of course, their joints are not as robustly built as men. And you see a much higher rate of injuries to the knees and ankles in sports and such uh, in women than you do in men. And adding instability into your shoes is the worst part possible idea, honestly, uh, I can think of. Now, there are times and places where instability training makes sense and there's a place to do that in a program, but adding it to your shoes as you walk is a horrendously bad idea. And though I don't think there's any studies yet, there are certainly some uh, organizations that have uh, set a similar uh, point that I'm making, and I do have some friends, a, a number of friends that are orthopedics and uh, physiatrists and stuff who have told me they are seeing an increase in injuries and or an irritation to existing injuries such as uh, knee problems, ankle problems, that type of thing with some of these sneakers. So, and finally, there is also a class action suit against one of the manufacturers of these sneakers for false advertising. Now, that, that's not really proof of anything one way or the other, of course, but it just goes to show that there's a lot of people out there who are also coming to the conclusion that the claims made about these products do not live up to their promises. So, the bottom line is, is, is the same. Uh, I believe these products are basically injury waiting to happen. They are not going to give you any sort of firm butt, legs, whatever you think you're going to get from them. Uh, the only way you're going to do that is the old-fashioned way, which of course is some good resistance training, of which you can watch my other videos and get some ideas, uh, and of course diet, but that doesn't firm you up or, you know, per se, that just gets rid of the body fat. And uh, I hope you enjoy this information. I hope it's useful to you. If so, please hit the like and the Twitter buttons underneath. Uh, read up some more on my website, and I'll see you all. On the Brink Zone. Now, for more information on this topic, head on over to www.brinkzone.com where you'll find my blog, more videos for reports on fat loss, muscle building supplementation, fitness, health, and longevity, as well as a ton of articles in my free weekly fitness newsletter. And I'll see you all on the Brink Zone.